Well, hey everyone, just uh, sitting down here and deciding to show you something exciting and fun for your Wednesday afternoon live here with us from Heirloom Traditions. And we are trying to do something different to uh, inspire you to get out there and maybe try using the all-in-one paint for yourself. And tonight we are gonna be using our flexible finish called Finish All. And this is gonna show you maybe something neat if you've considered painting a chair, maybe you don't wanna get rid of the pretty pattern that you have. We're gonna show you how to maybe use the pattern that you have and make it look totally different and new. This is a cute little chair that we've had around for some time. And of course, it's got some sun fade and so on on it. And there's actually a pair of these things. So I'm only gonna paint the one just to show you for demonstration purposes here. And thank you for joining us here. I see a lot of y'all joining live. Say hello if you're just coming on to our live. And uh, I'm gonna get started and show you what we're doing. We're using Finish All. We're gonna be using the color Bluegrass here. And what we're gonna do to make this different than the standard paint your chair, which sometimes can get crunchy, this happens to be a great candidate for painting. It's a smooth cotton fabric. And you can paint smooth cotton fabrics using finish all as well as leathers and vinyls, as you know. But on smooth cotton fabrics, it does extremely well. All you do is just brush on the paint and that's it. You don't have to do any kind of water and all that stuff and no top coats or no waxes needed to go over the top of it so bluegrass is a gorgeous kind of a blue green and i hope it looks that way on your screen and i'll show you what i did a little earlier i just started at the top and this looks like this is going to be impossible to finish but i did that pretty quickly i'll show you what i'm doing i'm using again this pretty color try to get the lid off without making a mess and just gonna get right in here and start painting out the design that we already have in the chair. And I'm gonna follow this design and get rid of the black. And I've already painted this piece here, the wood, and I'm gonna use that in a minute to our advantage. And I'm gonna use some of the antiquing gel over that. I'm just gonna show you what I did here. It's kind of hard at this angle. Yeah, I can zoom Hopefully. in for them. You can get in there to see it a little bit better. I'm gonna put this lid on your coffee because if I don't, it's going to go flying. Me. I don't trust me. <laughs> Not you. Me. Okay, I'm going to put your coffee back here. Very little. So I hope you've had a good week already, and it's been a good, productive week for you. And we've had a good week already, and exciting things going on here with us with a lot of our brands. And Finish All happens to be one of those. Finish All is just a remarkable paint product. It allows you to do so many things around your home to improve so many different surfaces, wood. You know, you can paint your cabinets as well as your leather couch with this product. So that's pretty remarkable in itself. But you can see how quickly it will start to kill this black. And just using an artist brush, you can totally change this chair into something, a total different feeling about it versus it being this hard black and white, which I adore this pattern. But it's but seen its better days. The harsh black and white doesn't go with much. No. We've had a hard it. time always trying to work these into something. These were in my office at one time, which was pink, hot pink and white and so on. And um, anyway, you can see it's going to take a minute, but I would only do this if I had time to burn and wanted to maintain this pretty pattern. What do y'all think? Is this something you'd consider doing? I could see this maybe in a bigger pattern if you had orange flowers and maybe you don't want orange flowers anymore. Maybe you've turned to pink or whatever. Just go in there and paint out that pattern. You could even do that, ladies, on velvet. So if you've got a velvet chair that you don't like the velvet, but you don't like that velvet color anymore, you know, you don't, because you're not painting the whole chair, you're just painting a piece of the design, then you wouldn't feel like the whole chair got crunchy on you. Just go kill the color you don't like and try to keep the colors that you do. So that's a great alternative to heavy patterned uh, sofas and so on that are velvets. So uh, if you've ever had a piece of printed fabric, sometimes you can find prints, uh, especially in upholstered prints, that sometimes, especially metallic inks, they get stiff and you feel that in the pattern, but it doesn't make the whole fabric undesirable. You just know that it's a metallic that printed heavier or stiffer than some of the others. So kind of the same thinking, uh, but here you can see what, what we're already accomplishing here. And then while that's wet and beginning to soak in, I just take my brush and just kind of go right over that and hit second coat as I'm going. So I didn't have to go back and second coat this. I just filled it back in as it soaked up. And that way we're kind of one and done here. A little shadow is not even looking bad too. I don't mm -hmm. mind that. Having a little, it adds a little, little bit of depth, through. I think. It does. It looks very natural to the pattern. 
what you don't want is to look half painted and it's not it's really looking cute and I think we'll love this when we're done so Diane Frederick says she wants to try this on a chair she has but she's a bit nervous hi Diane what kind of tips do you have for her on painting fabric chairs well uh, just stay tuned because you're gonna see is it is it something you want to paint all over Diane or you just want to paint out the pattern give me a little more detail and I'll tell you just like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a, even a velvet. You know, we totally don't believe that this paint works well on a velvet. Nor or does any. Any paint, yeah, <laughs> yeah. not just this one. <laughs> any paint's going to stiffen velvet. It's just not possible to do it any other way unless it's a dye, and that's not going to work either. They're going to also stiffen it. Um, let's just keep rolling here. I just want you to see that this is achievable in a, in a decent amount of time. Now, I could take a couple, if you had a little finer tip artist brush, you could uh, probably get in some of this a little easier, but just don't make a lot of hard right angles. Just keep everything kind of soft. And nobody's going to get down and look at your pattern fine tuned, you know, to see if you've got it immaculate. I've never, since I've had this chair, examined this pattern of this to see how well this was printed. So you're not <laughs> going to again once the overall chair is finished. So. And hey, I'm looking at some of those areas that are printed and they're not perfect either. No, so. they're probably not. Yeah. They're probably not. There's some miss, you know, little edges maybe. And there, even if there's not, you'll never be the wiser if you uh, just paint it out here. Just again, don't make any hard edges is the main thing. If you paint and make a boo-boo, just smooth it out. Selena's asking, how about painting leather chairs? Can she use this paint? Oh, absolutely, Selena. Check out our Instagram page for Finish All Paint as well as Heirloom Traditions Paint. You can always see those there really easily, as well as YouTube, and you'll see all sorts of leathers and vinyls that have been painted using Finish All. So that's a great place to take you. If you are new to our page at all, join our Facebook group, and you can do that right here. You can see in the top, this is a pinned post for our Facebook group. And if you'll just comment here, I wanna join your group, you can get yourself a free sample and you, all you have to do is just comment here. I'll send you the link to the group and you can get in there and get yourself a free sample of our all-in-one paint product. So check it out. Uh, just again, just say something right here and we'll send you that link. That way you don't have to try to figure out where to go. Let's see, Elisa's asking if we have any news on tractor supply. Elisa, we are getting close. We are- Paperwork like crazy. Paperwork, paperwork, revisions to paperwork. Revisions again, more paperwork, revisions, more paperwork. So. Remember, big companies are slow rollers. And there is a lot of paperwork involved. But we'll get it. It's almost as much as buying a house. Yeah. Sign, yeah. sign, sign, sign. Yep. The old adage, big money moves slow. Mm -hmm. There you go. So what do y'all think? You like this pattern thing going on? Oma says she intends to paint a pattern on an older carry-on bag. Cute. Mm -hmm. Paint over a pattern or paint a pattern? I'm not sure. I'm a, unless she's really artsy, I'm assuming she means paint over. That's the great thing about this is, you know, to freehand something like this and make it look decent would be really difficult unless you're very artistically inclined, I think. But to trace it, even oh. somebody like me can do that. Oh, yeah, you can fill this in. Anybody can, no matter what your skill level. Yeah. You, you, here's the only thing you got to have with this, patience. Uh-huh. Well, I'm out then. Shoot. <laughs> no patience. <laughs> no patience. Uh, Deb, Paula is using the color bluegrass in our finish all paint line. Which is just a beautiful uh -huh. color. I hope it looks right on screen. Because uh -huh. it's such a pretty uh, blue, between the blue and the green. So we won't go back and paint the white here. If that's going to be a question, I'm sure it is. Mm -hmm. You could, but I'm trying not to stiffen the chair at all so you don't feel like this chair got stiff on you. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate here more than anything. You don't have to paint out the whole pattern. You don't have to lose your pattern. You can enhance or change the colors in a pattern that you have, even in a velvet. Just try it. April said, wow, that's looking amazing already. Oh, thank you, April. You know, guys, chairs, uh, there's been so many people buying and flipping furniture. One thing about leather chairs and vinyl chairs, they're a dime a dozen because nobody knows what to do with old fabric chairs, that the patterns are bad. Um, leathers and vinyls as well, they don't know what to do with them. And our products turn those into looking fabulous. So it's definitely something you can find on Marketplace for free and for 
uh, nearly free all the time. Lots of people don't know what to do with an old chair they don't want anymore. If you have questions, ask them, please. We're here to help answer anything. Kelly says, this reminds me of adult coloring books. There you go. It does me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is very therapeutic. Not that I was needing any therapy today. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need more therapy than I think. I may need therapy after, after the chair. This, okay. After the chair. This might be exactly what I need. So, Deb's asking, would this color look good with Mediterranean? Yes, definitely. She needs a contrasting color for her hutch. Yeah, this color looks great with Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's some yeah. color cards if you'll check those out. That, uh, several we don't. great colors for mm -hmm. Mediterranean. We need to do those for finish all. Yeah, we do. We need to incorporate them both. Mm -hmm. You know, guys, we're getting a new website, just so you know. Be a bit, but we're working on it. I'm working on a smashing new website that I think you'll love. We're pretty excited about it. Um, Suzanne wants to know, can you paint faded antique lampshades? Oh, sure you can. Lampshades are easy because you don't go around touching your lampshade. So it doesn't matter if it gets stiff or whatever. The only thing you need to think about on the lampshade using finish all is... What is it going to do to affect the light that the lampshade omits? If you've got a white lampshade and you're trying to paint it, say, a color, remember that the light coming through that is going to be changed. It's going to either block the light or it's going to um, look spotty or splotchy from the back. So just kind of take that into consideration. So light passing through white, you don't see that. Light passing through green that's put on, uh, that it's not the same consistency all the way around, you're going to have to totally stop the light from coming through. So that means you need to paint the inside and the outside if you're going to paint it a color. So that light shade is not going to allow any light to eliminate from the shade. You're going to get a light blocking shade. So the light's going to come from the bottom and the top of the shade, but not, not from around the shade. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> Which I like those lights. I used to buy black light shades, gold, black lamp shades that were um, cardboard cardboard with their foil lined on the inside very traditional lampshade when I had a lamp a line of lamps and that was the line I used or that was the shade they used to have made for them I used to have a line of lamps y'all didn't know that <laughs> I had a line called um oh my god no I should forget the whole name of my, my accent originals I had a whole line of products <laughs> that I made uh, with a lot of people and I had showrooms all over the country I've done so many things were those the ones you decoupaged I decoupage them, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I decoupage them. It wasn't just me decoupaging them, but I had decoupaged the original one. Uh -huh. They were very artistic. Lynn, I agree. Bluegrass is a really pretty color, and it is so underutilized, so we're hoping you guys fall in love with it, seeing it here. Uh, Melissa Bray Bruner is asking if you can use finish all on wood. So, Melissa, if you can see that little sure you can. Uh, edge there on the chair. That was it before that's in the one black. Coat. Over black. And that's it painted. So yes, finish all paint can paint just about every surface. Yeah, and I was showing you here that it's painted even the braid that's twisted rope braid down the sides. It will uh, do paint trim and fabric and whatever. Mm -hmm. So the other side is still the black and the white. And of course this side I've already painted prior to the video, prior to us coming alive so you can see it. I'll go in here and paint right up to it because I'm going to put some white antiquing gel on the wood here. So I'll give you a better visual once we get this painted out. Alma's asking if you were to paint the lampshade, would it be an issue with that heat from no. the light bulb on the paint? No issue with the heat whatsoever. There's not enough heat from the light to ever hurt the shade. If so, your lamp would catch on fire. It's looking pretty good. It is going to be a big update. It is. Mm-hmm. I hope you enjoy it, because you may have finished it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She's already, you know what, she's already bet me here. She bet me her paycheck. <laughs> that she that wasn't going to finish this chair? two coats on this chair. <laughs> now I'm, des I'm destined to finish this chair. <laughs> I know her Just too well. Just to know that I could do that, but I would never do that, you know. <laughs> April wants to know how many coats is it going to take? It's just two. I'm trying to do it in one. See me going back over this wet paint as it begins to soak up here? I'm trying to touch it as we go so I don't have to get around the edges anymore. I'm just going right in the middle. It just kind of soaks it up in the center, you know? 
so they're getting a little heavier around the edges. So I've done that already at the top and it did fine. Two little coats. Well, say really, not really two coats. I'm not waiting until it thoroughly dries before I put on the other. But you know, I've seen patterns that look like this already <clears throat> that have that marbling feel to them in the, in the underneath, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I've seen this look. Yeah. So I think it's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it. It adds a little bit of shadow to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah wants to know, what did you do to prepare the fabric before you painted it? Be honest. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> now, we probably should have knocked the dirt out of the tufts. Well, the buttonholes. Well, I might have done that, but I didn't. It was it was clean enough. Ish. <laughs> it was cleanish. Yeah. But yeah, you should probably vacuum a fabric chair before you. Yeah, especially if you're gonna paint it all over, you definitely want to get out cat hairs and you know just stuff like that. You don't want to trap that in the paint. <clears throat> I have to have some coffee before I. <laughs> something. Where did my coffee go? Uh, behind. Can you reach it? I can get it for you. Here, I'm oh, roll. Yeah. I'm on a roller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got some people asking about these colors behind us. Sure. You strategically put them there, and they strategically <laughs> saw them. <laughs> Notice <laughs> that one. <laughs> Y'all so, recognize that one? That's the Color Club color for August. This one. And imagine what the other one is. So I'm not giving the any, any info. <laughs> oh, I just painted your hand. Did you? I don't know. I don't Maybe think I so. Didn't. I didn't feel it. I don't see it. I think you. Oh, you got my phone oh, cord. Oh, I that's alright. Touch something. No biggie. There's already paint on it, anyways. You know, if I own it, there's paint on it. So. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you guys haven't joined the color club, the next shipment will be going out starting in September first. Or what month are we? At? Yeah, September first. <laughs> you got to be signed up before the end of the month, and the color club is exclusive fun colors that we don't currently have in the line. You know, I know it sounds crazy, but I even kind of like this half and half. Of course, I've already kind of screwed that up now. Uh -huh. But I like going in there and adding some of that. What do you think? I think that's kind of neat. <laughs> I think she's trying to get out of painting this whole thing. That's what I think. <laughs> no, I think my paycheck is safe. I think it might be. <laughs> if you don't even get on coat one, I think you have to give me your paycheck. There you go. She, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make that big. <laughs> I just said, okay. You didn't ask. You didn't make me put up, put up anything. <laughs> Um, Karina wants to know on lampshades, could you use the all in one as well? Uh, Karina, you could because it's not really something that you're sitting on that has to flex. It's the cracking that yeah. finish all helps you with, so yeah. it's not going to crack mm -hmm. on a lampshade. So if it's something you're going to sit on and it's going to give, you definitely want finish all. If it's something you're not going to sit on or is a hard surface that you sit on, you'll be fine with no either worries. one. Mm -hmm. April says you're making this look too easy. It is easy. Now, if I had a way to support my arm where I'm not holding the weight of my arm, where it could have a little more whatever, it'd be easier. But I've got to stay out of your way so I can, so you can see. But if I could get over here and get under it, I'd be a lot better. Guys, if you're just coming onto this live, be sure and comment below if you'd like to join our group. We'd love to have you there and also get a free sample of all-in-one paint to do a project that's a good size. It will do a medium size project the size of your front door for $6.99 it will ship to your home and that way you can try it and see what you think of it and uh, join about 30,000 others our group just hit 30,000 in one year so you'll get to see a lot of other people who are using and enjoying it and posting their projects too to give you ideas help you re rejuvenate things run your own home mm -hmm. Diane, you're correct. The color club is recurring for every month. So if you got the August color, then you're going to automatically get the September color unless you cancel, which you can cancel at any time. Uh, but you won't want to miss out. We're just trying to put some fun colors into the finish all line. So if you love finish all, being able to paint anything from leathers, vinyls, cabinets, furniture, um, you name it, you name it, you can paint it using this product without adding a top coat or a wax. Simply clean it and you paint it and you're done. That's it. Yeah. So Melissa, for the color club, you can choose either a pint or a quart. That's totally up to you. So you could subscribe for either one. Um, if you had, if you wanted to, you could even subscribe for two of quarts or something if you wanted extra. And it's a great deal. It's mm -hmm. $32 for a quart. Shipped priority. Shipped ship to your door. Mm -hmm. And you know, finish all is normally $42 a quart. So 
It's a really good deal. It is. And you get these exclusive colors that nobody else is going to have unless they're in the color club. If you paint a lot or you just enjoy painting, mm -hmm. you're going to like all the colors we bring out. We have some great ones that we have planned already out. planned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some things you've asked us to do and some things mm -hmm. maybe not you've asked us to do that we feel like you're going to love. Mm -hmm. Melissa's asking, how long does this uh, take to dry until you can use it as normal? Uh, this is gonna dry really quick. This paint dries extremely fast, if you know that about finish all already. But I would give it a good 24 hours before I set in it. You never know how thick you've got it on. It would definitely be drying a lot less. Or you might have you know, some paint down in a crease, and then I when hear, you sit, yeah. releases it. You don't wanna get that on your clothes, because it does not come out of clothes, in case you've been lucky enough to not know that. Right, it doesn't come out of clothes at all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> but that's uh, why it works on painted fabrics. Yeah. And no, it doesn't get on you. Once it's dry, yeah. it's there to stay. Just ask questions, guys, yeah. if you have any, please. Melissa, um, we right don't now. have necessarily new colors that are out available to everyone right now. These are just um, new colors for the color club, and there's a new one every month. Well, y'all saw how far that I've gotten and how mm -hmm. long, how long we've been on here. We've been on here about 20 minutes. So two hours this would take to do this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking at least two. What do you think? Two hours? Two days? Two, two weeks? Um, two I hours. think if you were really sitting there doing it, I don't think sure. it would take I'm really sitting hours. here doing it. Well, I mean, and not talking and really no, trying to knock it I out. I had another little alternative brush, yeah. I wouldn't have to work so hard with this uh -huh. one, but I'm not working that hard, heavens. The transformation I, on it's quite amazing. Oh, good. Yeah. Share this to your timeline if you enjoy this. Maybe somebody else might. We'd appreciate that greatly. And comment below if you don't see the link to join our group, and we'll send it to you. I'll sit down and answer your questions tonight and uh, look through and answer anybody I can at all. And send you the direct link. What Brooke's not getting right now, I guess. I don't know. Can she post the link? Is she posting the link? She's on here. Brooke, can you post the link to the group for us? You probably have it handy if I had to guess. If she's on here, if you're not, <laughs> she is. that's fine. Oh, good. Um, hmm, here's an interesting question. Bridget wants to know, what paint would be best for a deck? A deck? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, uh, obviously an exterior gray paint. But I see so many people posting, does this paint work for a deck? So that tells me one thing. You guys have been highly disappointed with the deck paints that you've used in the past, including myself. I sure have. Yeah, I don't know that I ever used a deck paint that performed over a year without fading or whatever. So peeling, and, cracking, peeling, cracking, right? So those are nature's. Those are things because the elements are getting into wood. And I say the same thing to you: if you paint a table and it's wood, and you set it outside, and then the paint cracks, and you're wondering what in the heck happened. Well, it's wood. Wood's living, taking on moisture in the air and rain and so on. So when it expands, like a sponge, it blows up, and then when it shrinks back down, when the sun hits it, then the paint has to either, you know, expand or break and pop off. Well, they've never really mastered the idea of some paint that can give and move that much in extreme hot and cold and wet. So that's why you have paints that fail. But this paint would perform well, but do you want to go put this paint on your deck? I mean, hey, it's up to you if you want to put it on there. If you do, we don't recommend it for decks, obviously, mm -hmm. and we don't recommend it for floors, but people use it on floors. I'm sure people are putting it on their decks because it's an exterior grade product. So, um, sealing is the problem with wood. If you could seal it off and get in there and seal up every part of the wood, even the ends of the wood, you know, on deck boards where they've been cut, if you could seal that off to where it was not getting any moisture, even the bottom, then it wouldn't be able to do that. But it takes on moisture in the air, so it has to be totally sealed off. It's hard to do, hard to do. No deck that I know of that a human being built is sealed that well. You know, some people yeah. seal them some, but that's the problem. It's not the product, the paint product. It's what it's painting over. Marquita, check out the color Truffle. That's going to be our dark brown, um, kind of leathery brown color. Okay, I'm going to put some antique and gel so y'all don't get bored with this. Y'all <laughs> get bored with this? Miriam wants to know what type of brush you're using. Oh, just a cheap artist brush. Just a little square tip brush. I like this brush. She knows I paint everything with this brush. <laughs> she really would try. I do. I paint everything. You just have to take this from me because I get paint and I just go and paint. I painted this with it, but I paint fast with it. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to put the antique and gel on that. <laughs> and just rest your arm on your arm. That's the best way to do it. Build you a little bridge. 
Can you see that? I remember down where you can see. I can move it a little bit. There we go. Francisca said now she wants to paint uh, flowers on her outdoor fabric cushions. You can do that. You She's do inspired. I mean, this is just a little uh, cotton fabric, so it's got very little weave that I'm fighting against. But you can surely do that. You can hide damages with patterns, flowers, what have you. You know, if you've gotten some fading, like this chair has got a lot of fading on it. At the top where it's set near a window or something, it's gotten some fading on the top that didn't look black anymore. It looked like a dark gray. Down here it was really black. Yes, Karen, truffle is in the finish all paint line. I'll uh, keep painting until we get to a, until I can show you this whole edge. Yeah, it'll be pretty. William wants to know, what are you going to do with this chair once it's done? I don't know. It'll join the ranks of all the other uh, stuff we've painted. It'll never have anything done with it because she will never do the second one <laughs> so that they have a matching pair. That doesn't mean that it can't live separately. <laughs> That's lives. true. I guess it could live on its own. Well, it's been here too long. It's who knows? I don't know what I'll do with it. It'd be cute we, in our... We have so much We're moving, so it'd be cute in our new offices. Maybe. Maybe it'll go in the new spot somewhere. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't want to go around that flower. I just killed that center. That's what you do. If you don't like something in the pattern, just paint it out. I don't want to go in there and paint all that little rope, that center of that flower back. I just paint it out. That would you be can, difficult to do. You can be your own fabric designer here. <laughs> <laughs> Design it as you want it. There is no boo-boos. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that right now. You can't mess this up. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to check that I know of. What do we think? What do we think? Are we liking the color? Just seeing the vision. That's the main thing. Go up in here and kill this. Deborah, we're going to be moving probably sometime in 2020 to a, not necessarily a bigger facility, but one that's set up better for us for sure. This building that we have is 13,000 square feet, but part of it is 3,000 of is it in an upstairs, which is difficult mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, we envisioned that being our studio that we filmed see. in a couple, a handful of times over the years. It's just hard to haul furniture upstairs. So we end up doing it where we shouldn't down in the front of our business here. Yeah. So we're going to move down to a little town that's just um, about 20 minutes from here down the road and still considered Louisville. This outskirts of Louisville. It's into Taylorsville, town around Taylorsville Lake. And uh, we'll make that move shortly. That way, if we ever have a retreat, you guys will have somewhere really uh, come down by the lake and see She's us. She's wanting to have a retreat. They're wanting us to have a retreat. They don't want us to have no retreat. They do. They ask for it all the time. <laughs> a retreat. What are we going to do on the retreat? I don't know. We'll figure something paint out. Paint stuff. We're going to paint, paint furniture. I think we don't paint anything. <laughs> My retreat. We just all we hang out. I know. <laughs> we just have a kumbaya. We have uh -huh. a cookout. Have a party. There you go. With all of our friends from Facebook. No, I love to paint. Do you realize I paint every day something? Yeah, pretty much. Every day. I know there's plenty of people on here that have the same thing. They pick up a paintbrush every day doing something. I pick it up so much I don't even realize I'm painting. It's awful to say. It sounds like that's a lie, but that's true. I paint so much, I, it's just second nature to me. It's not like I just started this painting, guys. I've been painting for years and years and years. I had, like I told you, I had the manufacturing business making a line of decorative accessories. I had a showroom in um, 225 Fifth Avenue in the Boxer Collection in New York City. I had a showroom in Chicago in the Regary Gallery there. I was in Michael Boyd and Associates in Atlanta. I was in that showroom. I had my own showroom in High Point, North Carolina at the Furniture Market. And I was also in Dallas, Texas. I had a showroom there. Just getting ready to open one in, to, uh, in Los Angeles at the Gift Mart. And uh, sold my little company to, to some guys out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And about that time, I found out I was having my son. So that's how long ago that's been. He will be uh, 22 tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Mm-hmm. So 
So that's how long ago that's been, 22 years ago. And uh, just could, didn't make the move and kind of everything went on hold after that. And uh, that's why that my business uh, didn't, didn't move on from that point right there. So long story short. I'm gonna write a book. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write a book, and that's true. I I'm encouraging there too. She's yeah. encouraging me to. Yeah. We're gonna actually sit down with someone. I'm gonna write a book and tell y'all all the ins and the outs and long stories of how I ended up here because I know a lot of people ask and. And it's a wild. Story. I'm not real sure that it's a readable, digestible <laughs> book, but it might be an entertaining book. I don't know, but uh, it's been fun. I feel like I lived a few lives rolled in here, <laughs> yeah. but. Um, I'm going to tell you all the story, how to uh, maybe even start your own business and grow it from your kitchen to mainstream. So we'll see. We'll see if that's something you all want to read later. We're going to do an ebook to begin with, and we'll also print it and uh, give you the chance to have a hard copy of it if you want it. So that's coming soon. We are working on that. So Denise is saying, if you had just this overabundance of patience and decided you wanted to change this color. <laughs> I like that. If I have a... If you have an over, <laughs> do you, I'm asking you, Denise, do you have an overabundance? <laughs> Could you paint over this and change the color again? Well, yeah, if you want to. You really have to have an overabundance. I just paint the whole thing. <laughs> if I didn't like this, and I did all this, and I didn't like it, I just paint the whole chair. You could yeah, that's it. probably what I would do the second time. I doubt you'd do this the second time. Uh, <laughs> you wanted, it's you really pretty, though. Sticks. I really like the look of it. It's turning out really good. You know what, I'm going to finish this simply because if there's doubters out there, first of all, that think I'm not going to finish it. Where there, <laughs> like I know who? There is one. Like who? I know one person <laughs> that don't think this will ever get its life as a blue and white chair. But I'm going to finish this just so y'all can see how cute that it can be mm -hmm. if you do this. Kathy, this paint is finish all paint and the color is called bluegrass. It's a beautiful blue green. And this is the product that's going into Tractor Supply. If you guys are wondering, this is the product. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to get it soon at Tractor mm -hmm. Supply stores. Now, as we soon don't as we know, know a date, we will let you know. We don't know what stores are putting it in 40 of their stores to begin with. And then from there, we hope it goes nationwide, but we'll let you know. They're doing what they call a 40 store test. <laughs> that's just how they do it. Brooke says she can Photoshop. If you do half the chair, she can Photoshop the other half and she'll split my paycheck with you. There you go. That's a good one, Brooke. I'm going to take you up on that. Brooke, I'm here in person. You know I could see the chair, right? <laughs> Come on. Deborah says. That was a dumb thing you said. You give up that paycheck. There's people who can figure out how to take it now. I like this. this looks it's cool. really cute. Deborah said we should call the retreat Painters Anonymous Retreat and Recovery Camp. There you go. <laughs> if you have an addiction, we're going to help you. Yep, there you go. I believe it, Deborah. So many of y'all said you're addicted to paint and stuff. Except our recovery is not going to be to have you stop the thing you're addicted to. No, we're going to help you along. We're going to encourage you. It'd be like going to a drug clinic and offering them more drugs. Oh. But our paint's good for you. It's yeah, different. this is good for you. All right, so I'm trying to go ahead. Sherry says, I don't want to recover. <laughs> <laughs> no, think about it, that. How cute. Did that dry enough? <clears throat> All right, so let's put on a little antiquing gel before y'all get totally bored with this. I do like it. Look at it up close. I'm showing a little up close, a little up close action. What do you think? Isn't that cute? It looks very natural to mm -hmm. the chair. Let me back up and show you. Just if you just walked in and uh -huh. saw that chair, would you ever thought that had been a black and white chair? It looks gray, because uh -huh. that's kind of feeding through. It looks like a gray-blue combo. Very cute. Uh -huh. It is really, really cute. Now, it doesn't feel stiff is the beauty of it. That's what I painted earlier, like two hours before we went live. So that's totally dry, but the chair itself, there's no stiffening to it because of that, because we just painted that small little area. Let me give you that, uh -huh. and then, uh, you know what? I'll give you that. I don't know that I have a brush for this. Oh, okay. That would have been helpful. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about brush. Jackie said she's pretty sure her husband will gladly send her to the recovery camp. <laughs> so we got some takers and some husbands <laughs> signing others up. That's funny. All right. I'm sorry, husbands. Do you if have y'all think? Yeah, I do have that. Hmm. 
hand me the peach peach colored thing in there. I just want to show them that. Just calls. <laughs> Do y'all like this color? Do you like this color? One coat of this color, by the way. Just testing. Just testing, one, two, three. Um, I'm going to antique this for you using the white antiquing gel. Just because I want to see how cute this little color looks. I'm using a T90 brush. But I just want to see what it's going to do to this. If we get that beachy kind of sun-kissed look on here. And then I'm going to do that to I the chair too. I'm going to do it to the chair. I'm not going to go over. This is T Rose on the other side. Just to kind of give you an idea of what color we, we have with mm -hmm. this peach. We have both colors so you can see it. Did you post pictures of the finished desk from last week? Yeah. You did? Yep. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Take me oh, along. thanks for that, Brooke. That's payback for number five, huh? What's this? She said, y'all can send those retreat inquiries to my email address. <laughs> Hello at HTPain. <laughs> That's right. Hello at HTPain. <laughs> you got any questions, just send them there. That's a little employee dig. Disgruntled employee. <laughs> who's online with us. So there you go. It is a pretty color. I do love this over it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it softens it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, there's only one coat of the color over the tea rose, mm -hmm. but that's so pretty. What do you think? You like that? <laughs> maybe, maybe it might make an appearance. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> she said, you got that right, sister number five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh, that joke. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, there was that other artist brush that I needed. I brought them both up home, actually. Okay. I brought you a skinny and a fat. All right, so here we go. I'm going right. to show you what antiquing gel would jazz this up. I might brush some on that trim just to see. I doubt I leave it. Or doubt I, uh, well, I don't know. I don't think I am going to do that. This braid is not in the best of shape. It looks like it's a little furry in places. Maybe not highlight it. Yeah, I'm afraid if I highlight it. I'll I think this is a great this. way if you just, if you were painting this whole chair solid, and you painted the frame and everything, this is a way to make the frame stand back out without having to really trim it out with a different color of paint, which I've done multiple times, and it's not super fun. Yeah, I like doing just a little bit here, mm -hmm. just to pop yeah. it up. That's enough to make it different enough. Mm -hmm. Just soft. Mm -hmm. Any effect you're gonna get with that white antique gel, just soft. But look at that, that's pretty. Oh yeah, just leave it right in the lows. You see that? It looks great. So yeah, it's really pretty with that. Margaret wants to know if you got any thoughts and tips for her about painting Corian countertops. Ooh. See if you can see. You guys well, see that in the cracks there? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm gonna go over the trim. Can't help it. Just gotta, see. <laughs> just gotta do I it. I just huh? gotta see if it's gonna do anything good for it. Well, I like it. I do too. Kind, kind of dry brushing it. Yep, that's exactly right. Just dry brushing over, even though it's got some places that are not necessarily gorgeous. I don't think you're going to notice, are you? See, like right here, where it's been glued or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not really. It makes it look a little beachy, ropey, mm -hmm. yep. you know, which is good. Softens it. So, now you've got them all asking. Mm -hmm. Jackie wants to know, can you put this antiquing gel on the fabric part too? You could. You could. You need I to. I don't know that it's... I'm going to put some on there just so mm -hmm. I can say we did it, all right? I'm going to rub some on the black and see what kind of coverage you get. I'll just get over here a little bit, so tone it down. So it'll pop against that. Brooke, if you're still on, can you post the link to join the Color Club? It's colorclub.mybigcommerce.com. I guess I could type that. All all right, I'm going to do so it. I'm going to paint this right here. This is the white antiquing gel over the black. Let's just see what it does. If it gives us that gray effect, it may give us what the blue did with a, it's the same effort either way if you want to try to paint it solid with the paint or the antiquing gel, either or. You get the same look. Look at that, you're gonna get a gray fade on it there. You're gonna get a semi-transparent coverage of the black. So if that's what you were after, this could look beautiful. Could look very farmhouse, mm -hmm. couldn't it? Could. She don't believe that. So you didn't like it, you wouldn't have liked it in the beginning either. Yeah, probably. And then, hey, guess what? If you run over the white with this, no biggie. 
The white could maybe use that for sure. Hey, hey, let's just do this. Look at that. Okay, that ain't bad, guys. That's turning this black and white chair, but how often are you gonna run into a black and white chair you need to do that to, you know? Not often. Mm -hmm. Just giving you options here. Mm -hmm. You can definitely do that to soften a pattern and gray down a black, for sure. Hmm, I may have to try that. I don't believe that's really gonna affect the uh, fabric because it's just such a light brush of the coat on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you were putting it on heavy and really trying to kill that pattern, yeah. I think it would crack, but that little bit. Mm -hmm. It's letting me blend it. It's mm -hmm. the main thing. It's letting me just soften the pattern. I'm just going here with a little ideas, ideas, <laughs> ideas. She's already decided this is way easier than <laughs> But you've already started the bluegrass now, so you're going to have to finish well, I have it. Another, have another chair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rachel, the color club is exclusive. Yeah, those colors are exclusive to it. Rachel, it's a maybe to the coral. Can't say. It's gotta be a surprise, guys. Yeah. It's like Christmas. If we told you, right. it wouldn't be happy. What fun would it be? How excited are you gonna be when you get that box and see what the color is when you didn't know ahead of time? So we don't tell. We wanna tell. We're just like you. We wanna tell you. I wanna tell my son every year what his Christmas gift <laughs> is. And I most of the time had to because he wouldn't shut up. <laughs> Only children are so spoiled for that. Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. It was every night he'd say, let's open my box. Just one box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just one. And then it wasn't what he wanted. And then he'd say, or it wasn't the one he thought he was getting. So then he'd say, well, we've got to open another one. Yeah, just that other one over there. Let's <laughs> Just open one that more. Give me my brush and my thing back over here. Oh. Let me get a leg up on this. I'm trying to work her down. She's <laughs> sitting in the floor, <laughs> stretching and scooting. I've got a roller chair. <laughs> not fair. Jan wants to know if we'll show this corally color again. Sure. I'll show you, it. You show it. I'm going to paint out this lid. Now this has got the whitewash antiquing gel over it. But it's your pretty. Which softened it, but yeah, it's very, very pretty. Kind of a peachy coral, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Definitely peach. Mm -hmm. it's, got a little, it's more dark, very darker pretty. than it, but if you want to soften it, just mm -hmm. use antiquing gel. Add you some dimension. Alright guys, if you're coming on this live, we're getting ready to wrap it up here in a minute. If you're coming on the live, be sure and comment and let us know uh, if you'd like to join the group and we'll send you that link mm -hmm. so you can get yourself a free sample. Of the all-in-one paint. Definitely be enough to paint you, paint you something like this. <laughs> sure. And you could do this with all-in-one. It's not going to crack. You could do it. If there's a color there you just love, mm -hmm. but I'm going to say uh, finish off for fabrics is the best option. That way you don't have to worry about it cracking. Yeah. Just to be safe. And let's see. So I've knocked out quite a bit of this. Do you not think? No. You don't think I've knocked out a lot? make you feel better if I say yeah? Well, probably. <laughs> you still got a ways to go. You've maybe knocked out. I'm a quarter. 30% of the back. I'm an eighth. <laughs> right. Oh, you wanted to talk about the back of the chair, too. Oh, it's black. Mm -hmm. What do I want to say about it? I'm I don't gonna know. say that it's black. Oh. And so I'm what are you going to do it. with it? I'm going to have to paint it. You're going to paint it the blue? Yeah. Yep, I'll have to paint it blue. Yeah, the black is just, or the back is just one big solid piece. And it's a stretchy type fabric. Oh. Too. Uh, Margaret, we forgot to talk about the chlorine countertops. Can we help oh, her Margaret. with that? Oh, sorry. We got sidetracked, Margaret. Sorry. So, Margaret, just so you know, on countertops, on granite and corium, um, I know there's some ugly corn out there, and you may absolutely.